Hello guys and welcome to Laravel 9 tutorials. So guys in this video we are going to discuss about how can we send SMS in Laravel 9 using Vonage. As you can see I have already created a notepad file right here on the desktop in which I have already defined all the necessary steps to make it simpler and easier to understand. So yeah guys let's move to step number one which says that we need to create a fresh Laravel project or you can use an existing project it's totally up to you. So if you have Laravel globally installed you can simply use this command and if you don't have Laravel globally installed, you need to use this command. In this case, I'm going to name my project Vonage1 because uh, I already have a project with the name Vonage for uh, that is that was related to Hindi and Urdu lecture. So yeah, so let's move to Git Bash. First of all, I'm going to copy this command because I am going to create a fresh Laravel project and you can see I have already accessed the htdocs folder right here. So I'm just going to paste Laravel new and the project name hit enter. So now this command is going to take some time for the execution. So I'm just going to pause the video to save some time. Okay guys, so our fresh Laravel project is ready. So let me access that CD Vonage 1 just like that. Okay, let's move to step number two, which says that we need to create a fresh account. Uh, in my case, I have already created that. And if you are confused, why do we call it Vonage and Nexmo? So just uh, to inform you guys, previously it was known as Nexmo and now it uh, the name has been changed to Vonage. Okay, so just keep that in mind. So let's copy this one. Okay, so let me tell you how can you create a fresh account for the Vonage. So just paste it right here. Okay. And then what you have to do is try it for free. Click on it. Okay, then you are redirected to create an account page. Right here you need to fill your details, uh, email, etc. country code and phone number which is the most important and then create a free account. After that you will receive an email. You need to confirm that email. After confirming the email you will have uh, two euros in your account. After that you will uh, you will be asked to uh, let's say which programming language do you use so you need to select the related one so okay in my case i have already uh, created an account so let me just log in right there so log in and let's move here communication api and just right here communication api login so as you can see i am redirected to dashboard page so once your uh, let's say account is ready uh, after confirming the email and after uh, you can see the two pound balance right here see okay and after selecting the language you will be redirected right here so right here you can see api key api secret and now let's move to getting started part so let's move here getting started and then send an sms and right here you will see all the details and uh, for different languages so curl node.js uh, .net java php so in our case we will move to php and as you can see, if you, uh, let's say you always think, uh, how do I create these notepad files? So using these commands right here, you can see it's already there. Okay. So what you need to do is dig deep. That's it. So yeah, guys, step number three is done after confirming the email and selecting the programming language. Now what you need to do is step number four, install the Vonage package. So I can simply copy this mob command or you can use this one. It's the same copy and paste. So let's move here in our project directory and let's paste it and let's uh, hit enter. Now I'm going to pause the video once again to save some time. Okay guys, so it's done as you can see. Now let's move to step number five, which says that we need to create a controller. So I have the command right here. So let's copy it. Okay, let's move to git bash and paste it right here directly and hit enter. Once it is done, let's move to sublime. Let's access our project first. So file open folder and htdocs vonage1 as you can see uh, vonage this is related to hindi urdu lecture so vonage1 just like that okay and let me close that one okay okay let's move to sms controller okay and let's create a method to test our uh, functionality so public function and let's say sms would be the name of this method and that's about it now let's move to uh, google right here so after installing the library you can simply initialize it so i'm just going to copy this and uh, you as you can see i have just copied this click on this copied link uh, i'm showing you this uh, again and again because i'm going to hide this from here because it contains my credentials okay so f12 to align it so i just copied and pasted it right here okay after that i can you can simply change the code according to your need but in my case i will simply use this code so just click on copy and you 
can just paste it right here align the code that's about it so okay so first what we did is we installed the package we initialized the library right here here i have my api key api secret key and all of this information is saved in this variable basic and after that i'm uh, let's say calling the client i'm creating another variable and i'm saving all my credentials let's say api key and secret in that one okay so right here in client so after that i'm creating a new variable right here i'm just sure uh, let's say guiding you uh, what is going on right here okay so after that we have created a new label response equals to client we are using this client with our cred credentials and we are simply uh, sending the sms with client sms send and calling the package okay after that right here this field uh, i'm going to hide it but here you will have your number okay and this will be related to two fields so you are sending this sms to this number okay after that you can define your brand name so i'm just going to rename it to all about laravel about laravel just like that and the text message you can edit it uh, upon your let's say according to your need a text message sent using the next one so right here you can see the name next more and right here you can see the one it so that's about it that's what i was talking about previously it was known as next more so a text message sent using the next more sms api after that we are checking response uh, response of the current status if we have uh, if message get status is equals to equals to zero this means that the message was sent so echo the message was sent successfully else the message failed with status and we are going to display the status right here so that's about it now it's time to test it and for that we need to create a route so let's move to web.php and i'm going to create a route route get and this time the route name would be sms as well so yeah app http controllers and controller name any guesses sms controller at the rate sms the method name is sms as well so yeah let's run our projects so php artisan so hyphen hyphen port 8080 okay and now let's move to google right here let's access our project okay and let's move to sms okay okay so the message was sent successfully how can you verify it so let's move to analytics now analytics sms analytics and overview so right here you can see we have multiple requests i was trying to test this package right here and right here as well uh, i have uh, this test also includes the uh, let's say the test results of hindi urdu lecture so yeah just be aware so right here total seven for today okay so i'm just going to hit another one enter actually i what i did was just a refresh okay so let's do a refresh right here as well so we can see the difference okay and right here you can see the count is now eight okay uh, by day you can do that as well so by day uh, today we have requested eight times now i'm just going to do one more so that you are so that there is no confusion left okay guys so one more time let's do a refresh and let's see now the count again and right here you can see nine okay there is one more thing you can also check the logs uh, for example if you want to track the sms that was sent so you can simply come to logs sms logs okay and right here you can see the uh, let's say requests that were made today these are related to hindi urdu lecture as well okay just keep that in mind so from okay the brand name and the two uh, where uh, we are sending this message to this specific number okay and the text message is right here okay okay guys so yeah guys that's about it and uh, let's move here so just in case if you want to make it dynamic you what you need to do is you need to pass your variables right here that's about it so yeah guys that's about it from this specific video i hope you guys like this video if you liked it please like subscribe and share thank you take care and yes guys be ready for the next one okay take care